hello everyone welcome welcome to my channel my name is dami if you see my face for the very first time and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back thank you i appreciate you guys for always coming back to watch my videos anyways let's get into the details of today's video today's video is going to be interesting so it's something you want to watch so don't miss it anyways i remember when i did my first video i just said oh i opened my youtube channel and maybe just said my like oh i'm good. like it was very brief so it's just I'm opening my channel and i don't think i've done a proper introduction of who i am and what i'll be like details of what i'll be filming about so today i'm just going to sit down here this bright beautiful saturday morning and tell you guys all about me and what this channel would be about right let's get into the juice of the video <laughs> because i didn't do like q and a and then i've picked questions that i like of course that's comfortable for me to answer and then i'm just going to go through these questions and let you guys know about me and let you into my world and after which i'll just do a bit of chit chat of random things about myself right interesting things so the first question is do you have a nickname hmm i've never had any Gosh, if I say this, my friends will come for me. I had a nickname when I was in university, which I'm not so proud of and I'm not going to say because, gosh, I don't know. I don't like it. <laughs> I did not like it at the point and I still do not like it now. So I'm not going to say I had a nickname in university. I had a nickname. Mm, 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 mm. And it's those boys that just gave me randomly. I did not ask for it, but I had a nickname, but I'm not going to say it. Are you named after anyone? No, I'm not named after anyone. I think I've asked my mom before why did she name me Damlola? Because that name is it is too common. Gosh, that's the most common name in Nigeria for I don't know, but like in it for my generation, that's the most common name. Now everybody is funkerizing the names of whatever they name their kids. But anyway, yeah, and I, I was not named after anyone. No, she, not after anyone per se. She had someone who named a uh, son that name and she liked it and or my parents both liked it and that's how they gave me the name and i have basically just three names my name is damlala rachel and Timitayo. just three names so i was not named after anybody it was just the name she liked do you have any siblings oh yes i have siblings i'm from a family of four kids i'm the first born i'm the first girl the first child and then i have three other siblings right i have there's a boy immediately after me who also lives in australia he lives in melbourne i live in brisbane and then there is a girl her name is darasini my bestie and then there is a last one who is precious and i love him so much and he lives in canada yeah that's we are four we are four kids that's a very small family abby where did you grow up oh yeah i grew up in Songwater all my life I lived with my parents in Songwater. I school Songwater is in Ogun State. If you, in case you don't know, I schooled there all my life, basically. Yeah, because oh, apart from my secondary school, the better part of my secondary school was in Lagos. But that Lagos, that side of Lagos, I look say now still Songwe day, no be Lagos, Lagos. You know that kind of thing. Anyways, I schooled in Lagos for secondary school, but like major ninety percent of my time was spent in Songwater, Ogun State, which is the border of Lagos. Anyways. Um, what activities did you do in high school? In uh, by high school, I know this is secondary school. Hmm. What did I do in secondary school? When I was in command, half of the time I was sad. I wanted to go home because of senior palava. Ah, let me give you people one gist. Oh God! When I was in secondary school, if never in secondary school till, till now. Somebody told me recently. Somebody in very in high places told me that I have a bad eyes. This is my eyes, eh? I don't know. I'll just be looking at somebody, and the person will say that I'm looking at them with the bad eyes. That's how I was looking at one senior one day, my secondary school horror story. I don't even want to say it as a border. They beat me, ah, so I did not like school. Mm -mm, I did not like school. And I kept telling my parents, oh, take me out of this school. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. They did not take me out of the school until I got to SS. So SS when I meant to enjoy myself. Maybe they thought I was becoming a bad child. They now removed me from this. Okay, I was sick. Ah, damn, God forgive me. I was sick, so they took me out of the school. So they closed out the house and then they can manage my health. Because I remember the last exams I did when I was in command, 
I uh, was going every day. Command is a full boarding school. It's command is command secondary school. Quite a girls is a full boarding school. Shout out to everyone who went to command. It's a full boarding school, but I had to be a day student for that period because I had I was my health was really bad, but I needed to do my final exams before I finally transferred to another school. So yeah, in high school, nothing interesting. After that, I went to grades. Grades was just do my work and get out of school. So. I did have a bit of interesting things, which are my friends. We got to fun things, but in school, I didn't do. I can't say. Aside from friendship, keeping good friendship, relationship with people, I can't say this is what I did in high school. The next question is, where did you go to college? College, by this, I mean is university. So I went to Crawford University, Ibesa, Lagos, for my BSc, which is my first degree. And I went to... How can I forget? I went to University of West University of West of England, Bristol, for my master's, both in accounting. My first degree is BSc accounting, and my second degree is BSc accounting and financial management. Yeah. Um, what activities did you do in college? Hmm, which is university? College again, university. What activities did you do? Hmm. Oh yeah, I got interesting things in university. Now I can remember that high school. I did not remember what I did, but in university, I was part of um accounting society, Nuasa Nigeria University of Accounting Society Association, whatever you know, whatever Nuasa is. I was welfare officer, and it was fun. I love service, so yeah, I love service, serving people, whatever welfare. Even in church, I tend to be in welfare department. So I was in welfare for Nuasa. I was in the choir. I attend like Crawford University is owned by the Apostolic Faith Mission. So I was in choir. We had this. What's the name of this choir? Huh? I can't remember. Don't let me bother trying. But it was like the Apostolic Faith Student Campus Choir, something, something. I was trying that choir, Sha, and I enjoyed it because if they have an activity, they invite us to sing. And they had a fellowship. We used to do a fellowship maybe once a week in school. But anyway, I was in that choir. What else did I do? What else is the next question? What did you study in college? Oh, I already mentioned that. I studied accounting. Um, Yeah, basically... What has been your successful achievement? Hmm. What I would say has been my... I've had a lot of success stories to the glory of God Almighty. Successful stories, but the most successful for me and the happiest day of my life would always be the day I passed my ACC. I remember I was seven months pregnant when that result came out. I would never forget where I was on that day. It was the happiest happiest day of my life so passing my acc while pregnant whilst pregnant while raising children is the most successful thing i have done that's all about me and then let me just say what this channel would be about and the inspiration of why i created this channel so I've always wanted to have a YouTube channel. I love recording people who have followed me on Instagram. My story always has something on. Like I'm very, I'm very talkative like that or interesting like that, if I can say so. So yeah, I've always wanted to have a YouTube channel. But when we got here, I tried to like there were a lot of questions I had about relocating, like living in Australia, living in Brisbane. And I did see a lot of people in our community that had youtube channel that can tell you like where to get things just this is just a medium to help people who would be relocating to australia for the first time so that's one of my inspiration i love to share my life i feel like my life is because it's a plain canvas i able to share or teach people lessons of life that i've had to learn the hard way so that future generation or younger generation don't have to go through that same pain to get through whatever it is i share about and lifestyle just basically i'm going to be talking about i'm going to be filming videos lifestyle vlogs like day in our lives things it is my mommy journey raising children abroad without any help whatsoever just you your head and your the man that gave you those children and yeah those are the interesting things i'll get onto this channel if that is something that interests you in any way please keep it locked down and keep watching my video and i'll see you in my next video thank you guys so much for watching and take care of yourself bye